Effie Fragagianis is Director of Contracts and Senior Procurement Executive at DARPA. She says a number of contracting initiatives are underway now at her agency. Everybody always complains that we never go fast and uh, here at uh, DARPA, we're always trying to come up with uh, new ways. And I wanted to highlight one of the recent successes that we've had, what's called um, Seedling Day slash Week uh, Pilot Initiative. And essentially we were trying to find ways to attract more non-traditional defense contractors, small businesses, and how we can get um, Seedlings, which are small feasibility studies at DARPA that help inform future programs, how can we get those on contract on the same day, actually? So there was a, a great collaboration across DARPA, multiple uh, offices, our comptroller, contracting, um, the specific tech office that we were supporting. And essentially, we created the buzz and really brought you know, the team together and we did uh, an advertisement and um, we had abstracts as decision points, as gates, and then we invited future performers to come in and do oral pitches and we were able to do same day evaluation and on the spot award, three total awards. And we thought it was a great success because one of the three awardees was a first time DARPA performer. So it was an amazing opportunity and it's been, um, it's been going very well because a lot of the tech offices now are doing spin-offs of these pitch days as mm -hmm. we're calling them. So we're super excited and it kind of goes to some of the empowerment that we're generating within the workforce. We are very small contracting shop, so we're trying to attract always highly qualified, highly skilled contracting professionals and really creating that environment where we can um, empower folks to embrace risk, embrace creativity, and it always starts with having a very supportive leadership and people getting comfortable with being uncomfortable and embracing that risk, uh, so really focusing on um, creating that certain type of uh, culture. What kind of after action work did you do to determine, to evaluate success, but also then to determine how you might be able to scale it and do more of that? Absolutely, it's a great question. So we did an extensive hot wash with uh, every single person that participated on the team and essentially some of the do outs we you can never communicate um, enough, so over communicate, uh, doing a better job with collaboration. Uh, we have uh, a standard operating procedure now um, and then tailoring some of the templates to the specific needs so we can scale this initiative depending on the different needs that each of the technical offices that we have at uh, DARPA. So it was great and we're currently working on leveraging it for potential future workshops or variations of these pitch dates for some of the some of the offices and there's always room for improvement. You talked about collaboration, you alluded to some of your collaboration partners, but who are the key folks at that table to make sure that you had all the pieces in the right places to be able to move forward on that initiative? Sure. So for that specific initiative, obviously contracting the program manager, our comptroller public affairs. They really assisted us with uh, generating the buzz uh, across the board. We had uh, our security folks uh, to make sure everything was legitimate and we didn't have any issues. Uh, and then of course, uh, when we posted uh, on SAM.gov uh, the specific uh, notice, we were able to get some, uh, some questions and we established some feedback mechanisms so then we can do better uh, next time. Mm -hmm. And, and again, we're working on a bunch of other initiatives to break down the barriers to entry and strengthen collaboration with uh, industry. Another big initiative we had, first time ever, uh, other transaction workshop with industry. We have a lot of uh, industry days for specific programs, but we never really sat down with industry to really gain a better understanding. What are some of the challenges? What are some of their issues that they're having when they're dealing with DARPA? when it comes to other transactions. And I must say that it was uh, extremely enlightening bringing industry in person, and it was the, the first time, 
and really demystifying some of the specific issues that they may have thought uh, existed. And again, the whole point is to drive speed. How can we expedite that negotiation uh, timeline? And we have a series of follow-up events. We have a couple of other transaction webinars that are coming up and another in-person uh, workshop targeting small businesses, academia, and non-traditional defense contractors. We're always worried that we're not hearing from you know, Joe Schmo, who's working at an amazing idea out of his garage. We have about a minute left. What, besides speed, what was, were there common themes among the feedback that you got from the vendors? I think one of the main um, feedback that we received from the vendors is that they certainly appreciated the streamlined process and generating the buzz that, well, I can submit a short abstract right? Three to five pages. And then I can come in and do an oral pitch and walk away with a same day award. We try to keep it simple with some of the different award instruments so we won't overcomplicate it so we can attract those uh, future performers that wouldn't necessarily do business with DARPA or the government for that reason. So having things streamlined, keeping them very simple, definitely attracted those non-traditional defense contractors. Effie Fragogianis of DARPA.